Hey guys, and welcome to the video. So here today, this one's gonna be relatively quick. It's just a public service announcement. For those of you that already have a modded or hacked Switch, as you know, there was recently an update to the firmware that was pushed by Nintendo. It's now 10.0.0. And in case some of you out there accidentally updated, or maybe you want to update, and you guys just want to know what has already been updated and what's working and what's not, that's kind of what this is. I'm not gonna show you how to jailbreak your system. There's a bunch of videos that already do that. This is primarily for those that use Atmosphere and or uh, Cosmos as their kind of go-to custom firmware and things like Hecate and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started with Atmosphere. All right, so this atmosphere has been updated to 11.1. A couple of days ago it was on 11.0. It had been updated to work with the latest 10.0 firmware, but it was a pre-release version. This version here, 11.1, is a full official release and it works with 10.0 firmware. For those of you who want to use it, you know, plain Jane vanilla, you can just install the uh, bin payload file, the uh, Fusey primary, using whatever method or injector you want, like Tegra RCM or whatnot. If you want to use the version that comes with like the homebrew launcher and the homebrew menu, then grab this zip file and just copy and paste the contents onto the root of your SD. Now the latest homebrew launcher and latest homebrew menu still work with this version of Atmosphere and with 10.0. Now, for those of you who use Cosmos, before we even cover anything with this version, there's something you have to do before you update. So make sure you come here and delete this folder. So you're going to go into the atmosphere folder of your SD card, then into the contents folder, and then delete this folder right here before you update anything. Now, for those who use Cosmos, this one, 15.5, has this latest atmosphere in it, the 11.1. Also, Hecate has been updated to work with 10.0, and that Hecate and Nix were just updated, I think, a couple of days ago as well. Lockpick RCM has been updated to work with 10.0, as well as the um, Tesla menu and a component or two that deal with the Tesla menus. They've been updated to uh, 10.0 as well. Edison overlay has been updated to work with 10.0 as well as Sys FTPD Lite. You can see everything Cosmos comes with here and grab your zip from right there. All you need to do is copy and paste the contents of the zip right onto the root of your SD card and just hit yes if you are prompted to overwrite or replace and that will update your Cosmos. Don't forget if you need to make sure you come here to get the SIG patches when you click here. It'll bring you to this page. Grab the latest ones which as of right now are 410 2020 boot config tinfoil v8 plus this is the one you need to snag when using the 15.5 version of cosmos and that's going to do it for today guys i told you this was pretty short now i have checked on some other homebrews like tinfoil and it has not been updated there's also a couple others that haven't been so I'm waiting for those to see if they get updated here anytime soon so I can let you guys know. But you can check out some of the other homebrews you maybe already have installed after you've updated everything here in Cosmos and, or Atmosphere or whatnot. Check to see if um, those homebrews work. Sometimes they work without having to be updated. If not, you just have to wait till those homebrews get updated and then I'm sure they'll be released here shortly. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you as always. And if you found anything here informative, useful, helpful in any way, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, you know the best way to do that is just to hit that like button. Much love going out to everybody. Be careful, be safe, but have fun and we'll see you on the next one.